Good morning, good morning, good morning. God is good. God is good. God is great. And he's worthy to be praised. Good morning. This is your girl, Princess. And I'm just coming to you um, with what I have this morning to share. Uh, yesterday, we talked about you being the problem and the solution. Now, most of you are more secure with following people. You feel better if you can attach yourself to somebody. You feel better if you can uh, link up with people. Because for some reason, we don't like to really walk by ourselves. We really don't like to walk alone. We really feel like if we attach ourselves to somebody else, you know, this thing that we fear or this thing that we uh, can accomplish uh, will be better. You have to be careful, though, who you follow. Because you can have somebody in front of you that you're following, and if they start going cricket, you're going to start going cricket. Trust me. Been there, done that several times. Um, if they smash the brakes, you're going to mash the brakes. Because you're going by or trusting whatever it is they see. That's why you have to follow God in your uh, projects, in your life, in your situations, in what you hear, in what you feel, you have to follow God. You cannot, listen, people can come in your life and help you. People can come in your life and assist you. People can come and tell you the path that they think that you're supposed to be on. But if that's not what God told you, you're going to be doing stuff for them. That stuff won't benefit you. When you follow God, that stuff will benefit you and others. So that's why you have to stay focused. You have to be mindful when you're following people. Let me tell you something. If you are a spiritual being and you decide not to follow other spiritual beings, beings, you will lead yourself down a road where you won't even have the attachment or be operating in the anointing that God gave you in the beginning. Trust me. If you don't feed yourself, if you just go somewhere out of tradition, go somewhere because uh, it is what's best for the family. Go somewhere because you've been doing this 15 years. You've been doing this 10 years. And you're not going somewhere to feed that spiritual man because what you don't realize, this is what the devil don't want you to know, is that your anointing comes with needs more. Your anointing, in order for you to operate fully, you need somebody that is on another level. To feed you. Okay. You ain't on baby uh, milk no more. You need steak. You need potatoes. You need some stuff that will get you through. And how you going to know. Thank you Holy Spirit. How you going to know that you are that person. Is because when they start feeding you. You know more than them. You're sitting there. And you are. Good morning. Hey Kamika. Hey D'Amico. They are feeding you more. I mean you, you are taking in more. You know, and you need more than what they're giving you is what I'm saying. You are requiring more. Thank you for helping me to fix that, God. Okay? So, when you following people, a few minutes ago, confirmation came for this message this morning. I was behind somebody. God will show you what he wants you to tell people. I was following this person. They start going towards the left. I'm like, well, where we going? Why are they going? You th maybe they see something. Maybe they know something. They know nothing. They was doing something else. They was distracted. So because I'm behind them, I, I start going that way because I'm like, well, if I don't go that way, Lord, I might run into something. But that's why you must follow God because these people will have you upside the wall or upside the pole with them. You be the ran back of them trying to figure out how to keep up with them. You have to ask yourself, how does this benefit me? How does this benefit the kingdom? How does this benefit my walk with Christ? How does this give back? The other day, somebody said, Princess, how come you didn't try this thing? Well, look, when I looked at how it benefits, when I looked at how it will affect, when I looked at how, because if you go, you follow somebody cricket, people going to thank you cricket. If you follow shady people, people going to thank you shady. If you follow gossiping people, people going to thank you gossip. It's going to be hard for people not to see that you are not doing what those other people are doing. That's why you have to go to God. That's why you have to ask him, who am I supposed to be with? Who is on my team? Because I need a team, Lord, because I, I feel better with a team. I, this other lady the other day said to me, 
she said, I see you follow so-and-so and so-and-so or whatever. And I said, yes, ma'am. She said, well, how close are y'all? Do you know them? And I'm like, yes, I know them because of, you know, I told her how we was associated. She said, oh, okay. So I said, well, what do that mean? What, 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 what do that mean? She said, well, I don't know because they just have like a little funky reputation. They have, they do this, they do that or whatever. Well, get what? The lady ain't lying. She wasn't lying on them. Uh, she was telling the truth about what it was. But what she did was because she saw them in my friend thing, she just assumed that I associate myself more closely than I do. I told her just Facebook or whatever. But that's what people do. People will associate you with who it is that they think you fooling around with you know and they'll think that you do what those people do so that's why you have to follow god don't be afraid to ask god to give you people if you need people like you, you're gonna need people like i need support so don't be afraid to say lord i need you to open up my discernment so i know who to trust or whatever because again you are the problem and you are also the solution um you can't follow everybody you can't do everything, everybody. I know their resume look good. I know that their um, background may look real good. I get it. I get it. I get that. But ask the Lord to open up your eyes so that you won't be hurt no more. Because some of the hurt is coming from this stuff, making you not want to do your stuff no more. See, sometimes you can attach yourself with people who are actually, they look good, but they're not good for you. Okay? So sometimes you can attach yourself to those kind of people and then you won't want to do what it is God called you to do no more because they will have damaged you. They might not mean they might not mean it, blah, 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 and all that stuff. We got all that, okay? But again, some of this stuff is coming to your life to damage. If you're in relationships with certain ones, you have to ask the Lord, is this who I'm supposed to be with? Because I don't want to be wasting time this year. If this is who I'm supposed to be talking to, Lord, show me signs. If this who I'm supposed to be, especially if it's women and y'all looking for a husband. Just so y'all know, if, if y'all look for a husband, see, he must find you. And so if you chasing somebody that ain't meant for you, then you really need to ask God to open up your eyes. Thank you, Casey, for confirmation. You really need to ask the Lord open up your eyes um, when it comes to it. Because, you, 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 yeah, you might need a circle. You might need a team. You might need, you know, whatever. But now, don't rely on that fully. Rely on God. Rely on God because man can't switch up on you. Man won't pay you. Man will be lying to you. Man will be telling you to keep working. And after a while, you'll see something. And everything they're doing will be benefiting them and won't benefit you at all. And then you'll get to blame God and be talking about God how come you didn't open up this door and how come you didn't do that and then he'll say well first of all you should have sought me first you should have asked me first first of all you should have had a conversation with me first because it says seek ye first the kingdom of heaven so first of all you should have been doing that and so since you didn't do that and you went to following folks went to following people uh because you wanted you know you wanted whatever it is you want it, whatever it is, <laughs> whatever they got. Look, I, I, I get blessed. I, I've been blessed to have uh, such a circle of friends who have walked in their thing and they're doing like awesome stuff. And they're, and I be wanting to say serious. I want to say sometimes, Lord, line me up with them and connect with me with them. And if you connect me with them, this will happen and that will happen or whatever. And the Holy Spirit done told me. <laughs> He done showed me, told me, let me try it, whatever. Everything is not for you. Everybody is not for you. You just have to ask him, say, Lord, show me signs. I need it. I need it. I need a sign, Lord. And Lord, please, show it to me where it's clear. Show it, show it, show it, show it to me where I understand, where I still don't be doubting, where I have confidence in that answer. Yes, Lord, because he'll do it. I'm not lying to y'all. He'll do it. He'll tell you what project to get in. He'll tell you what project not to get in. He'll tell you who, what people are going to be good for you. He'll tell you who using you. Yes, he will. He'll show you who is going to just be doing stuff to benefit them. Um, and he'll show you. Yes, he will. I'm telling y'all this morning, he'll show you. So make sure that when you decide that you want to follow some people, make sure you follow them as they follow Christ. Everybody don't follow Christ. Okay? Y'all have a blessed day. Let's be about our father's business today.
Don't get sidetracked with foolishness. Don't let people easily persuade you. Don't let people easily snatch you out of your anointing. My grandmama said, if you want to know what's inside of a person, make them mad. Then you'll see if Jesus is really in there. If you get them trouble, they'll call Jesus. But if you make them mad, you won't know until they open up their mouth who they really serve. God bless y'all.